All right, Cape Town is a, it's a big city. Um, it has 240 kilometers of coastline. The developmental pressures on the city are significant, and that includes um, rapid urbanization. We acknowledge the, the benefit of, of urbanization, but at the same time, we need to make sure that such urbanization is uh, risk averse, especially in the context of coastal development. Mauritius is a small island developing state, and at the moment in Mauritius, we are experiencing a sea level rise of 5.6 millimeters per year, which is twice the global average. And uh, this sea level rise is also accentuating the beach erosion in Mauritius. We have particular climate change um, challenges in Mozambique in the last four years, since 2019 to 2023. For example, we, the, we had four extreme events that hit the very same areas in central Mozambique, uh, cyclones and, and uh, tropical storms. Ecosystem-based adaptation, or EBA, is the use of biodiversity to help people adapt to climate change. Through doing this, it aims to contribute towards three outcomes simultaneously, which is climate adaptation, biodiversity conservation, and socioeconomic benefits. Uh, if intact and, and um, thriving, nature can provide us with goods and services that essentially can help people um, with food security, with filtering of water, coastal erosion, and many other benefits. It's also very important to buffer the impacts of climate change, particularly for coastal communities living in vulnerable areas of the coastal belts. SAI is running a project on strengthening coastal and marine ecosystem-based adaptation in the national climate responses of SADC's coastal states. And what this project aims to achieve is to enhance the uptake of EBA in both national as well as regional climate policy processes whilst at the same time um, creating an evidence base to upscale EBA. And this will be enhanced through research outputs produced under this project. Very key to this project will be the development of a regional community of practice within SADC, which will be made up of multiple stakeholders from within the SADC region, which includes the 10 coastal and island states. Um, and this will include policymakers, academia, civil society organizations, community-based organizations, um, and policymakers as well. The work that SAI is conducting with partners on ecosystems-based adaptation in marine and coastal environments within the Southern African region falls within a, a global program called the Global Climate Change Alliance Plus program. Now this program has uh, facets uh, across the world but there's a particular set of projects being coordinated by the Southern African Development Community Secretariat. And it is within that context that this work is being implemented. The Comor has engaged to protect a part of its superficie, uh, marine. Uh, and là, le, pour, uh, pour la mise en place des, des aires protégées, c'est c'est assez important parce que les aires protégées uh, va aider aussi à accroître uh, la conservation de la biodiversité, uh, tout en, en impliquant la, la plupart des, des parties prenantes, uh, plus particulièrement les communautés uh, locales uh, qui, qui en dépendent des ressources uh, marines et côtières. Ochiva is a foundation that has been in Angola for over five years. The foundation aims to restore the mangrove joined to sustainable development of the local communities. We carry out activities such as environmental education, cleaning and planting campaign and biodiversity cataloging. We have the Mihai network that empowered local communities in uh, creating local immersed marine areas and um, restoring mangroves. And when they have mangroves, the mangrove is a nursery for their um, like seafood, for crabs, for shrimps. Mangroves are also really important in protecting their uh, the coast uh, from um, erosion or from um, waves and also protecting their houses. So one of the nature-based solution projects uh, which, which we are implementing at the Ministry of Environment in Mauritius is the replacement of Kajarina trees within the dynamic beach zone. So the project has been implemented at Free Public Beach. It consists of removing Kajarina trees and replacing them by endemic grass and creepers, which are more adapted to the coastal zone and help to retain the sand. One thing we know is that ecosystems span 
political boundaries, um, the ecosystems in the region, the climate challenges we're facing, the challenges related to developing a sustainable blue economy in the region, uh, span countries, span borders, and therefore a regional response is critical. And that's why we believe that an institution like the Southern African Development Community, SADC, plays such a key role in supporting lesson sharing and supporting a regional response. Climate change is affecting the people living in the community. And this is why we need to protect the ecosystems that the people themselves depend on, from the mangroves and the coral reefs. And this is where we see our policy, relevant policies coming in to provide guidance and a better way forward for us to properly manage and protect our natural ecosystems. The community of uh, practice uh, for ecosystem-based approaches um, is a very powerful uh, way of bringing together a range of stakeholders. It could be uh, different countries, it could be uh, in a specific country, um, a range of stakeholders that include communities, uh, experts and um, landowners, managers, to discuss about ideas. It's extremely important that these countries are together, that we can know Termos uma troca de experiência e cada um saber o que, que em cada país uh, a gente faz. E com essa troca de, de, de experiência, eh, somos capazes de eh, cenar as lacunas que nós temos. It will be good for Namibia to participate in uh, uh, the community, uh, because Namibia has had a number of adaptation activities terrestrial, and therefore, with this uh, engagement, uh, there will be focus to the coastline of Namibia, which is equally uh, impacted or expected to be impacted by the climate change. For the countries that are in the Comesa region, we see the sort of things that um, the, the countries in the Sadak region are experiencing pretty much the same. And so this community of practices helps to bring uh, knowledge to everybody, especially down on the community level. And also it helps to look at the policy level up to the implementation at community level. Mm -hmm.